Hi everybody, welcome to Pajama Storytime. My name is Miss Elizabeth, I'm your children's librarian here at Goleta Valley Library, and I'm so excited that you could join us tonight for our last Pajama Storytime of the year. So thank you so much for tuning in. We're very excited to celebrate New Year's Eve Eve with you. So thanks for joining us. Another fun thing that's right around the corner is gonna start this Friday on January 1st, our Winter Reading Challenge. The way this works, is that you would log your books in our online reading tracker and every week that you log at least one book you're automatically entered into our prize drawings for that week. We've had some really great generous um, donations from local businesses and of course our friends at the Goleta Valley Library have um, had wonderful contributions to our program so we're so grateful for all of our community support and we're looking forward to sharing these really fun exciting prizes with you. So all the information, including how to sign up, how to log your books, and some of the really exciting prizes that are in store, is all available through our website, galitavalleylibrary.org. We're really looking forward to kicking off the new year with um, great books and a fun goal and um, diving into 2021 with some fun stories. So for our story tonight, we are very excited to read a super fun book. But before we get started, I thought we could start with our visit from our special friend. Piggy is so excited that you are here. Piggy is thrilled to celebrate New Year's Eve Eve with you. Isn't that right, Piggy? <laughs> and let's get started with a fun song. This is one that has lots of verses. You can add lots of different movements, but tonight we're just going to start with the first verse, okay? And this one is Open Shut Them. It goes like this. Open shut them, open shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Good job, good job, everybody. Awesome job. And what story do we have tonight, Piggy? Let's go find it. This is a great book that Piggy chose for us. This is Pete the Cat and the Lost Tooth by James Dean. And we're reading with permission from HarperCollins Children's Books. And let's dive right in, okay? If you have a pillow or a blanket or a stuffed animal or a puppet, go ahead and get nice and cozy because we are going to enjoy a fun story together. Let's dive into our book and find out what happens with Pete the Cat and the Lost Tooth. I love Pete the Cat books. And this one is one of our beginning reader books. Um, you can see that this one is for shared reading. If you check any of these out from the library, then they come with a really helpful guide inside to help you match the book you're reading to your child's current reading level. So this is a lot of fun and a really helpful tool. All right, this is how our story starts. Pete lost a tooth. Put it under your pillow, his mom says. The tooth fairy will come. Have you lost a tooth at home? Has the tooth fairy ever visited you? Pete puts the tooth under his pillow. He closes his eyes. He hears a jingle. It is the tooth fairy. There she is. The tooth fairy came to visit. I am very busy tonight, she says. I can help, says Pete. Great, she gives Pete magic wings. He can fly. Wow. Visit these cool kids, says the Tooth Fairy. And she gives Pete a list. And I see it says Callie, Alligator, and Gus. Those are the cool kids on the list for tonight. Just take the tooth and leave a coin, she says. Pete is ready to go. Callie is first on the list. There's Callie. And there is Callie's lost tooth. Good job, Pete, you found it. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for Callie. Alligator is next on the list. There's Alligator. Let's go get him. Look, Alligator's lost tooth. Careful, it is very sharp. Oh, ouch, that's really sharp. Pete takes the tooth. He leaves a coin for Alligator. He's putting a coin right under Alligator's pillow. Good job, Pete. Gus the platypus is next on the list. 
So he goes to Gus's house and then, uh-oh, he's looking under the pillow, but I don't see a tooth. I wonder where it could be. Where is the tooth? The tooth is not here. The tooth is not there. The tooth is not anywhere. <gasps> Looks like he's looked everywhere. He's done a really good job and looked for it. Where is Gus's lost tooth? <gasps> the lost tooth is lost. Does Pete panic? Nope. He knows what to do. I love this page. You can see a little light bulb, which means Pete has a good idea. And then what do you think his idea is? <sighs> Let's see. <gasps> I think he's going to wake up Gus. Look, Gus is awake. Where is your tooth, Gus? Pete asks. Platypuses do not have teeth, says Gus. <gasps> I didn't know that. Did you know that? That platypuses don't have teeth? We learned something new tonight. But I still want to be a part of the tooth fairy fun. No worries, says Pete. Pete puts a coin under Gus's pillow. Oh, that is really nice of Pete, isn't it? Thank you, Gus says. You're welcome, says Pete. Good night, Gus. Great work. Pete, says the Tooth Fairy. No problem, says Pete. He seems like a pretty cool cat. Let's see what happens on the last page. We have a little message. And it says, not everyone is the same, but being kind is always cool. The end. I love that message and I love ending the year with a great message about how cool it is to be kind. I think that's an awesome thing that we can practice every day and it's a great thing to start off the new year with, don't you think? All right, my friends. Well, our friend Piggy, I think I saw her. There she is. Our friend Piggy is so excited to finally end our program with her favorite song. Oh, she loves this song pretty much more than all the other songs and it is Twinkle, twinkle, little star. She's been waiting our whole program to sing it. Can you sing it with her? Get out your twinkles. And if you close them and open them, that's how you make our twinkles in the song, okay? So sing along if you know the words. Piggy knows all the words. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Yay! <laughs> great job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Piggy and I had a great time. Have a wonderful night and a very happy new year. And we'll see you in our next pajama story time in 2021. Take care, everybody. Good night.